between a personal training session and a class in remote sensing. Hi, my name is Karen Joyce and I'm the Senior Remote Sensing Lecturer at Charles Darwin University. I've always liked to include interaction in my classes, but this year I decided to take some calculated risks with my remote sensing class. These risks were inspired by my involvement with the iSchooler program at CDU, which saw a small group of academics from across the faculty embark on a mission to flip our classrooms. Our goal was to get students to complete some preparatory theory work at home before coming to class. The lecture then turned into a range of interactive exercises for the students. Throughout the process, I identified five keys to success. The first flip needs to start before the first class, a very small and subtle confidence builder setting the scene for what will happen throughout the semester. The pre-class activity must be relevant to the in-class work. This helps the students to see the benefit of doing the work prior to class. It's even better if the students find the class difficult without having done the pre-class work. The pre-class activity must be accountable. I allocated a very small portion of the student's grade to completing these activities on a weekly basis. Flipping requires careful preparation. Working on a lecture the night before delivery will not equate to success. And finally, the pre-class activities must be variable and enjoyable, rather than limiting students to just reading a text chapter and answering some questions. Every week I'd get them to actually do something before coming to class. Like at the gym, the personal trainer doesn't go through the warm-up with you. The personal trainer is there to help you when things get really difficult and they can get you through what needs to be done. My pre-class activities are the warm-up. My lectures are for the really interesting stuff and to help you when you're stuck.